batteries on a power wheelchair. This power wheelchair happens to be the Go Chair by Pride Mobility, and it comes with a battery box that you're going to need to take apart. In order to access the batteries, you will want a long screwdriver. It doesn't need to be this long, but for me, I like it because I don't have to bend down. You can use one that's about eight inches recommended or above. It's a Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to want to have replacement new batteries ready to go. These are brand new batteries, and they are 18 amp hour batteries, 12 volts, 18 amp hour batteries, which is what this particular power wheelchair requires as a replacement. That's 12 volts, 18 amp hour batteries. And if you're not sure what kind of batteries your scooter needs, you can always refer to our website, go to the product page, once you find your product, and simply go to the specification section to find the battery type. Most power wheelchairs work off of sealed lead acid batteries, 212 volts to be exact. This particular power wheelchair, like many others, has a removable battery pack. And in order to get the batteries out of the box, you're going to need that Phillips head screwdriver. I'm going to put a rag down, flip the battery box upside down, put those to the side to not scratch them. And you're going to see a couple of holes from the top, which you will need to use that long Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws. All right, once you're done with the four in the front, look for an additional set of screws in the back. This travel case happens to only have six screws. Some have eight. But either way, you want to just make sure that you can get all of the screws out. All right, now that we've got them all out, I believe they're all out, I'm gonna flip it over and we should have six screws that fall out. One, two, three, four. And five, which means, oh, there's the sixth one. So all six are out. Now at the top, we need to remove two more. At this point, you can lift the flap that shows the charging port. I'm sorry, the uh, charging port and the fuse and the breaker switch. And you've got the batteries exposed. So, as you can see, we've got two 12 volt batteries each connected by a nut and a bolt. What do you do? You take your new batteries and simply make the same connection one by one. Take the red off of this one and the black off of this side and connect it to the new one, respectively, red and black side. All right, when you're getting ready to replace the battery, you can unbuckle from the farthest side on each battery. You can pull the strap out and unstrap it gives you a little play here. Don't want to pull too hard, but if you need to access that screwdriver, you may need to tilt, or the screw on the uh, positive like I'm doing, you might need to tilt it up a little bit because at the uh, angle that it was in flat, I couldn't reach the screw sideways. The, uh, the battery case wasn't allowing me to do so. So there we go, I've disconnected it. I'm gonna grab that screw and the washer there's actually two washers, one for each side of the terminal. And I'm going to put that up front. Now I'm going to take off the ne uh, negative here by basically just tightening that a little bit and loosening.
batteries are disconnected on the first battery that we're replacing. Out with the old, in with a new, as they say. Now you want to go ahead and just put the, uh, the washers back in the same way you took them out if you can. If not, it's not a huge deal. As long as they're tight, you're going to get connection, you're going to have power, and you're going to be good to go. No, I don't have a lot of room here, so it's hard to see with the camera, but I'm basically just trying to get this uh, nut right on the bolt, finger tight. Now that it's finger tight, I can go ahead and access it with the screwdriver after I tilt it forward because, again, it's hard to reach when it's all the way flat against the floor here. Once you've got it tight enough, you're good to go. And we simply repeat the process on the opposite side, which we'll fast forward through. All right, so I went ahead and replaced this battery just like we did the first one. We skipped through that to save time on the video here. But everything's firmly connected. You want to make sure it's not wiggling and tight, which is it's good. Black's going to black, red's going to red, red to red, red and black to back, or black to black. <laughs> Sorry. So now what you're going to want to do is basically just strap the batteries back in. And when you put them in, make sure they fall into the grooves at the bottom and that they're supported by those grooves. Underneath the battery, there's like a perfect little indent for the battery to fit in so it doesn't shake around. And make sure they fall in there when you're putting the batteries in, which we did. And when it's strapped, it's tight, it's secure. You can put the lid back on, just make sure the flap's kind of up before you place down the lid. And then it's gonna secure itself down. I'm gonna grab the two screws in the front and just tighten them real quick with my short screwdriver and then we have to turn it upside down and put the uh, six screws that were at the bottom and fasten those. And then we're pretty much done. We've replaced the batteries at that point. As you can see, it's very straightforward. It's a very easy process. Um, the only thing you really need is, thank you, Dustin, a screwdriver and a pair of uh, pliers or a wrench, socket wrench, if you have one that matches that same size nut. But really, it's probably easier if you just use the, uh, the wrench like I did. So. That's really it. We're going to fast forward through this part where I tighten the screws and at that point we'll power the unit back on to show you that it's working as intended with the new batteries. All right. Now, we've got the battery box with the new batteries. I put the covers back on, they just clip right on. I'm gonna drop the battery box back in. I'm gonna take the chair. If you have under storage container, you just have to make sure that they're open before dropping the uh, seat post pin in. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the joystick cable. Power on. And what, oh look, five blinks. That means your brakes aren't on. So I'm gonna turn the brakes on, put this unit into drive mode. And we've got full battery and the unit is moving as intended. 
All right, so if you have a different type of power wheelchair that doesn't have a box with the batteries in it like this one, you may have something similar to this Jazzy, which it works the same way. To change the batteries, you're gonna have to take the seat off and then just pop this blue shroud cover off. It might be red or black, depending on the color that you got. But essentially, they come off pretty easily. And inside there, once you have the seat off, you can take this entire thing off, and the batteries are right in there. There's a black connector here for the negative, and a red one, which is just on the other side of that battery. There's two batteries, literally the same exact process. There's a screw with a nut. Undo it, connect the black to the black on the new battery, undo the red and connect the old red to the new red repeat on the other battery and you're done so depending on what type of power chair you have you might have one with a battery box that's removable or one which has the batteries fixed inside of the chair on a heavy duty or full size that's a little bit more popular so i hope this video has been helpful now you should be able to change the batteries on your power wheelchairs like a pro. If you have any questions, reach out to us. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.